Hello, Capricorn, and welcome to Intuitive Clarity with Allison Nichols. <clears throat> Capricorn, this is going to be a general tarot forecast for the month of March 2019. So if it doesn't resonate with you, always check out your moon and a rising sign as well. Now, while I'm shuffling the cards, I would like to proudly announce that I have finally finished um, my last card. Um, I was cre I'm creating my own um, tarot deck. It's been a year in the process. I finally created the last card. I did upload a um, sneak preview video so you can um, kind of see how the cards look. They are um, pretty detailed. Um, I did use the Rider Waite system for the most part, so it is a full um, Rider, uh, Rider Waite tarot deck, um, and it is called The Fairy's Journey. I will be putting them on the market hopefully uh, by the end of March, if not the middle. I still have to do the booklet and um, the box. I think I've got the box created though, designed. So it was all... Uh, created, designed, illustrated by me. Huge learning curve. I had to, sorry, I'm dropping cards here. I had to um, learn a new program, like a Photoshop kind of program. So it was quite fun. Anyway, check those, that out. I would greatly appreciate any feedback on that. Also, I would like to invite you to get your own personal intuitive tarot uh, reading, and that uh, you can click on the link below. That will take you to my website where you can choose what package you want, how many minutes um, you would like to purchase. Now, I had everything on sale through Valentine's Day from the holidays through Valentine's Day. And I decided to just keep it that way. I'm just going to keep the prices there for a while. Um, it was successful. You get a longer reading for less money at a discount. And um, I get to meet you and work with you. Um, and I make a little money, too. So everybody's happy. All right, Capricorn. What is going to happen for March 2019? And, of course, we're going to do numerology clarification. Okay, pages are hot, hot, hot today. All right, let's do some numerology here. Nine. Great, Capricorn. Um, you're going into the energy of nine. So the energy of nine is about endings, okay? So um, in nine energies, you are... Deciding what you need to stop doing or um, stop allowing, um, something ends in order for you to make new beginnings. Now, sometimes these endings are not what we had hoped for or what we had wanted. Um, nine years are very tricky years, or I'm um, sorry, nine energies are very tricky energies. So if it, it might not be exactly what you hoped for, but it's what you needed, okay, um, in order for to make room for something new. Um, if you are in a nine energy, it is a good energy to declutter, all right? Get rid of what no longer serves you in order to make room for um, something new to come in its place, all right? Great energy to do a house clear uh, declutter. All right, so. Okay, that very first week, it appears like there is a project or something that you had been working on um, that you're having a hard time getting moving, okay? I'm going to do clarification on this, but I get the rider straight up, which is moving forward. It's uh, news coming your way, um, projects moving forward. But I got the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Straight up, Capricorn, it is all about... Um, Reaping what you sow, harvesting what you planted. Um, pentacles in general are about um, finances and um, money, but it could be anything that is of value to you. Okay, so that could be your time, your energy, your effort, your love. <laughs> All right. Um, so if there is something that you put off working on, um, it appears that it, it might be slapping you in the face that first week. So in other words, 
if you had not done something or not completed something, that might come home to roost for you. Um, that information could get out or you could get information about a deadline that you've missed in some form. Now, if it's not about that, it could be that you are there again, just having trouble getting things moving. Sorry, excuse me. I'm going to let the dog out of the room. Go. I am so sorry. <laughs> he's in, he's out, he's in, he's out. All right, so that's that first week. The second week, Capricorn, I do get some gossipy information or some information, negative information that comes your way that um, cause you feel it's a bit unlucky um, and it causes a little bit of stress too. Um, it could be around your home also. I always see this. Um, broken um, glass card as something to do as far as home repairs. All right, so something at home, you could be getting some information about something at home that needs to be repaired. It could be that simple that second week, Capricorn. Um, because I do get the page of swords reversed. When he is straight up, he's bringing in new information, new communication. When he is reversed, either no communication is coming at all or the communication is quite negative, okay? Um, and almost useless in a way, but if it's gossipy, it's useless. But anyway, this page of of um, swords could be um, uh, foretelling something that breaks down in your home or something that breaks down your foundation in some form. All right. And you consider it to be um, it's not lucky, like your car needs a new tire or something. OK, um, either way, that is the second week. So kind of pay attention to what's going on around your home. Um, if there is anything that is even like slightly off, fix it as soon as you notice it. Um, like if you have a drippy faucet or something like that, um, fix it before it, um, becomes bigger than it needs to. Now, the third week I see happiness with the sun. I also see, um, uh, very good luck when it comes to anything to do with finances um, or in anything that you feel is abundant to you. So you could be lucky in love. You could be lucky in, in money, um, whatever. It's something you need to look into. I believe it's telling you to start to pay more attention to your finances. Um, your financial situation, it appears, had been quite lucky. Um, you've been feeling quite fortunate. You're feeling abundant. Um, but, and you are quite happy this third week. So something could um, come to light because things come out in the open when the sun's there. Things start to come, become clear when the sun is involved. So something about um, some finances could come to light um, this particular week. So the third week of March. So be paying attention for that. Um, because it is a good, it's good news, um, when it comes to, uh, the feeling of abundance, whatever that means to you, whether that be money, um, just love people, uh, energy, health, whatever that might be. Now the fourth week, I do get the page of cups and he is always bringing, um, either creativity, some emotional news pages always bring news. All right. He is bringing something more emotional where my page of swords brings something more um, mental or communication, trouble, swords are about trouble also. He brings something more emotional. And this is also a very creative card. It's a new creative endeavor sometimes. All right, there is no, there, it appears like something happens that doesn't surprise you. Um, perhaps you were working on a creative project and there's a glitch and well you're not surprised or you're not shattered or it's not earth shaking enough to you um for you to even pay attention i believe you stay focused okay so i don't believe anybody is going to trip you up from what you feel the need to be focused on this fourth week but let's keep going here and see what we got
Hmm. Okay. Um, the Ace of Swords is reversed. And the Ace of Swords does bring in new communication again. Um, or... Um, or it's uh, when it's reversed, it can be some negative information comes your way. Um, or, you know, it's because what's happening here is the writer is bringing in some information. And it could be because whatever this is that you were supposed to be working on that you didn't complete, you're going to get some negative feedback on that. Or perhaps Capricorn, you didn't um, you didn't give it your all, all right? So you just kind of it was due. You threw it out there, whatever that is. Um, you get some negative information, um, feedback on it. So like if you're in school and you didn't um, necessarily commit to the project, um, um, perhaps you get uh, you know some negative feedback from your instructor, okay, on um, that first week. Now, if this is finances about money in general, and you can see where it, you are not harvesting as much as you wanted to, perhaps if you invested in something, you're going to get some negative news about that where the investment didn't necessarily um, uh, profit as much as you expected it to. Okay, it could be that. The second week... Remember, we've got a bit of a destructive situation going on here. There is some destruction. I get the tower, but it's reversed. It's minor. So you there in the month in the second week of March, it looks like you could be getting some um, information about some things um, that are kind of unlucky and a bit destructive. Now, if this is about your home uh, repairs, like I kind of it really does kind of look that way um where something comes up or something that is important to you that needs to be repaired that breaks um there it is again so it's with the tower reversed so it's not gone all right um in other words if it's a car repair it's the car is not dead it just needs to be repaired all right so it's not a complete destruction but you, i do believe this um comes to light the second week of March. So pay attention to that. Here we have a happy home, the third week. Look at you, Capricorn. That third week of March, you are quite happy. Everything is happy, happy, happy. Um, some things came out. Um, I believe you might have found out that possibly you um, your investments worked out or some whatever you have um, been wanting to hear that you feel is abundant, you know, would be abundant. I believe you're happy about it, okay? Um, this could even be moving to a new home that you're quite happy about. You hear, you know, you realize that this is what you're going to do. You have the ability to do it. Um, so this third week is quite happy. You are um, abundant. You're dancing. Things that are coming to light are good things. It's not like things are popping up that are negative. So whatever this second week was, I believe you're pulling through it on the third week. Fourth week, you are, um, I have a commitment um, reversed, okay? And that is an emotional commitment reversed. So now this almost tells me that by no surprise, um, this partnership or whatever this new creative endeavor is might be lacking in some form. It might either be on the verge of ending, but you're not surprised. Or it could be that um, there are some negative things that happen around a um, relationship -y partnership that really doesn't surprise you. And you you get that information on the on the fourth week, all right. Um, I I do believe that third week though, with everything being happy, um, it's and this being reversed, it doesn't surprise you. Um, so it's I'm not going to tell you it won't affect you because it will in some form, but it it does appear like it's not going to just rock your world. It's not going to turn your world upside down. So let's keep going. Clarification. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Capricorn. 
I can't wait to move so I can have an office. <laughs> All right. That is my goal. Mm, there's news. Okay. Mm, good. Okay. So here it is. So there is a bit of negative news coming to you. And it, it, if it's not about a project that you didn't completely complete, <laughs> um, completely finish, it, it could be, or, you know, some negative feedback about a project. It, it could just be that you get um, some news coming your way, information, I get the letter, information coming your way, and I almost want to tell you it's through the mail, it's like snail mail, because I have him up here, I have my writer up here too, so be paying attention, perhaps there's a bill you forgot about, and you need to pay that, okay, um, so be pay paying attention that first week um, for some information coming to you about um, either finances or some type of project um, that either needed to be complete or um, you completed but maybe didn't give it your all. Um, so you get a bit of negative feedback. Now, I do say, you know, I do say regular mail, but that could, it could even be, um, you know, email or uh, text or something, social media, maybe. All right. So the second week, it's behind the scenes. We get um, the fox reversed. So um, with the tower. All right. So there is something that um, is happening around. I truly believe this has something to do with, um, you know, some some possession that would need to be repaired or some repairs that need to happen that um, come out the second week, either around your home, um, if it's not your car, I truly believe it's it's more around um, home. Uh, so be paying attention to that. It could sneak up on you, is what I'm saying, okay? Um, with the fox being reversed, it, it could sneak up on you. Um, if there is some you know a destroy if this is about a relationship and there's some type of destruction um a relationship that needs some repair um something like that don't think that you can talk your way out of this not this time um so you need to be up front and you just need to take care of it, all right? Because you are not going to be able to fast talk your way out of it if there's a, a breakdown of communication with, with someone um, or some type of a strife and struggle with someone. If the information that you got that first week, if that ties into the second week, um, and let's say your, your professor you know, has some comments to say about the project you turned in or your boss or whatever. Um, don't think you're going to be able to fix it by fast talk. It's not. It's going to be more by action. All right. But there are some repairing that needs to be that needs to happen that second week. All right. Of March. Now, the third week, here's the anchor. You are going to be happy for a very long time. Um, so. What comes to light this third week is going to create happiness for a very long time, all right? We get the anchor. So either you, if you're making a move, um, that you're going to be there for a long time, all right? Um, you're happy. It's you, you have no reason to move, no reason to move forward, no reason to even look for another place, whatever. Um, if this is about a job, you're happy. You're going to be there for a while. All right. Um, if it is just a, like a financial situation, you made a good financial investment, it is going to be good for a while. OK, you will be happy with this for a while. OK, so that is the third week. The fourth week, I get happiness again, even though it's on top of my um, partner's 
that don't seem to be happy right now. But it was no surprise. I believe you mend it because down here we're happy again. So whatever this is that, you know, even though it didn't surprise you, I believe you know how to work your way through that, okay? Um, perhaps you um, kind of smooth your way through it with the uh, page of, of cups, okay? They can be slick talkers. They really can. Um, so, you know, perhaps you are able to smooth your way through whatever this is. Um, because it's not a big uh, it's not a big deal really it's just something that needs to be taken care of perhaps needs to be talked talked about um addressed in some form and everyone will be happier um for doing that so let's see what we're going to do going into the month of april and that's what i will have for capricorn gosh darn Sorry. <clears throat> All right. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> going into the month of April, I get the full reverse. I get the Five of Cups, and I get the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so the full reversed is making foolish decisions. Okay, it's not thinking ahead. It's only doing what's in front of you. All right, it's good. If you do that, it is going to cause you some sadness because there could be a loss of money or opportunity. Okay, um, and it could also take your eye off the ball for any goals that you might have. So going into the month of April, Capricorn, um, I want you to be careful. Uh, the full reversed is, is taking risks, okay? Unnecessary risks. Don't do it. It's going to cause you problems. It's going to cause you a little sadness, a little heartbreak, sorrow, okay? And it's also going to stop anything new coming in your way, into you. So anything, any new goals. Um, it, it could even be blocking the money. It could cause you to spend money as far as receiving money. All right. So um, pay attention to what you are doing um, going into the month of April. Don't make don't take any unnecessary risk because I don't want to see you have any regrets. All right. That's what I have, Capricorn. I hope it resonated with you in some form. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, click all the buttons. And um, please check out the uh, the sneak preview. I'm going to try to link it to the end of this video. I'm going to try. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not too good with that. But anyway, I will do my best. So, um, yes, do all the things like, share, subscribe. I want you to have a fabulous March, Capricorn. Um, don't take any risk, okay? Good things are happening. If you have the ability to complete a project that you feel you, or redo a project that you feel um, you only half did, perhaps you have, you'll have an opportunity to do that so you get better feedback. All right, that's all I have to say about that. All right, Capricorn, have a lovely March and until April. I am always sending loving energy your way. Bye-bye.